Thank you and good day to you. My name is Christian Nomine and I've been with Mitsubishi Electric Europe for more than 22 years now. And my current role is a European product manager for the visualization solutions that we offer. Now in the next minutes, I would like to take this opportunity to explain and to show you a bottom up live demonstration of our robot maintenance solution. Um, also explaining all the required steps to bring in robot maintenance data up to the cloud and visualizing the information efficiently. So it all started with demands from our key industries to actually provide an easy solution to collect robot data from many robots that are in a typical factory. There are demands also to connect to third party equipment as well, not only Mitsubishi. This is a typical brownfield scenario. And of course the data shall be provided and utilized depending on the end customer, either on premise or in the cloud. And Mitsubishi Electric came up with a solution based on our IQR modular PLC system. And we call this the IoT gateway solution. It comes with a lot of predefined and built-in features already. The most important one is that we have a communication to our robot controllers and we turn that robot information into an OPC UA standard structured way of information. The module acts as an OPC UA server or client. It acts as an MQTT publisher to provide data to cloud systems, but also at the same time, we can set it up as an Azure IoT hub connector. On top of the IoT gateway, we would like to use iconic solutions either on premise by incorporating the directly native and completely built in OPC UA protocol. But also when we look to deploying iconic solutions in the cloud, we would then typically use the really well integrated MQTT communications of the iconic suite and do such kind of communications or alternatively using the IoT hub from Microsoft Azure. We are supporting all our robot controllers, the old and the existing ones. And the major point here is that this is an, an option, uh, sorry, this is a communication here for um, basically providing a solution without any modification or change in the robot controllers. So in a brownfield environment, we plug in that gateway and we can start reading the maintenance information directly from the robot controllers. So that IoT gateway solution turns a black box robot controller into a data-driven maintenance solution. And that IoT gateway comes with a lot of built-in connectivity options as well for typical brownfield applications. So there is Mitsubishi electric equipment. There is of course the cloud protocols. There is a remote maintenance connectivity, but even more important for brownfields is the third party connectivity, which comes also out of the box in form of Modbus TCP communications, Siemens, Rockwell, and again, third party OPC UA servers and clients. So that is the ideal platform for not only fetching data and sending it up to the cloud, but also for horizontal machine to machine communications um, in large factories. Now, as I promised to you before, I would like to go through the three steps that we need to set up in the IoT gateway. 
So we would use, first of all, a website into our IoT gateway to configure a robot connection. And it's just one click away, and I will show that to you live. And as a result, we will see all robot live and maintenance data presented in a structured OPC UA view. Secondly, we would like to add MQTT definitions in that gateway. So we would typically set up information of the broker, the security mechanisms used, the topic name, the payload or the message format of that MQTT message. And finally, what data, because there are a lot of data on the OPC UA available, but we only want to pick the most important ones, which data should be then published as MQTT. And I would like to show this to you live because that website that you now see is directly located on the module. And we have a couple of settings here. You see all these third party settings as well. But I quickly want to show you how easy it is to set up and to add a Mitsubishi robot. So we would typically just press the add button and say, this is the Iconics robot. We would give that an IP address. And then that is automatically connecting to the robot and bringing back the correct robot model, the number of X's, and whether that robot is equipped with additional predictive and preventive maintenance functionalities or not. That is as easy as that to set up the connection to the robot. To send that data further to the cloud with MQTT. And then we could already use an on-premise Iconics system to visualize the data. But I would like to go one step higher and to add a cloud-based Iconics suite to that solution. So what you need to do to achieve that is to get yourself an account on Microsoft Azure, and then to browse the Azure marketplace for a predefined iconic suite visual machine. And I also want to quickly show that to you live, because this is a typical dashboard, and it's as simple as adding a resource where you would search for iconics. And Iconics presents various versions of such predefined virtual machine. And I, now I'm only five minutes away from selecting the right components of my virtual machine, you know, like typical hard drives, RAM, CPU type. And this machine would be deployed online and would finally be accessible in my Azure environment as a virtual machine, just like that one here. So this is really great and time effective uh, method here that Iconics has really implemented. We would then do typical configuration steps in the Iconics workbench, just as we, as we have seen before. We would typically set up the broker connection again, the message format, and then we would subscribe to that specific topic that the IoT gateway is providing. And I would then also switch back again to a live view because the most easiest way of showing the data is to use the self-service dashboard called KPI Works. It's an online editor with a couple of graphic gadgets and widgets, and it also provides a data tree. So I could actually just go and, for example, take a KPI gauge, and I would need to browse into my assets because these elements 
are structured in the asset, in the asset tree. So I would typically go into one of the, uh, one of the instances of my robots. And just to give you an example, I would drag and drop the total maintenance. Uh, and I can do that, of course, now uh, with another one doing the overhaul parts. And that would be, <laughs> I admit, a very simple, but still a very quick way of con con uh, confirming that your data is now provided through the IoT gateway module. Now, we would, of course, like to add one more level of visualization and have provided that kind of dashboard solution for you. The dashboard starts with a typical maintenance overview where you would see the list of all your assets in a tabular form with the most important values, you know, like total consumption, uh, remaining time and so on. But if we would be interested in looking at a specific asset, a specific robot, we would then access the asset tree structure. And we could go into a specific asset like that one, providing a more sophisticated and detailed view of the data where we would include more maintenance data, typical data, like the total on time and the runtime here, but also providing lots of additional functionalities that are being defined in the asset model that we use for that application. So everything is like predefined and comes out of the box. We have trends where we could retrieve a list of properties and we could drag and drop them onto the trend. We would have a point detail list like that one where we see all assets and all properties of the assets, including the data source. We would see a specific alarm view for that robot asset. And finally, there is a like a reference page with additional information that we could provide to an operator or service personnel. So that was a, a really quick look into these topics, I definitely agree to that. Yeah, so I just wanted to quickly convince you that making these robots assets IoT ready is not a big job to do because we have everything pre-configured for you. And we would be very glad to get in contact with you to help you with that. Now with that, I thank you very much for your attention and. Uh, Turn it back to you. Thank you very much.